Okay, um, I know you guys are going to question my hair. Yes, I have highlights. Yay! <laughs> I wanted to do something different with my hair, so yeah. But um, if I'll do a video explaining my hair and stuff because I don't know if you guys can notice my hair is two different colors, but I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Probably not, but oh, kind of. Oh, there you go. Can you kind of see it? Yeah, anyways. But I'll have that in a different video about my hair and whatnot and how I got it so long. But that'll be in a different video. So this is going to be a BU tag. And this was created by BU Want 92 And she is like the most sweetest girl on earth. Um, I watch her videos she's just so so sweet she even like supported my real talk video and girl i want to thank you because i was freaking out on that one thumbs down thing but whatever i don't care people are gonna hate my videos people are gonna love my videos so whatever but yeah i'm gonna be doing the bu tag so let's get into it Okay, number one. What is the most inspirational thing you have ever heard or seen? Um, I have a saying. Um, you can say it's like my inspirational quote. And that is, be yourself. Or is it be yourself? God, I forgot my own quote. This is so sad. Um, oh, okay. Be yourself instead of being something you're not. That is my quote, it's like, be you, be yourself is pretty much my inspirational quote because don't be something you're not, um, it's just not worth doing. So that's pretty much my inspirational quote is be yourself than being something you're not. So that's my inspirational um, saying. So yeah. I love that saying it pretty much fills up my day and every time I write it down or I say it or say it to other people it just makes me feel so good and again I'm gonna say it to you guys be yourself instead of being something you're not number two who inspires you the most in life oh wow that's 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 a good one that's a good one the person, or what, who inspires you? The person who inspires me in life would be my mom. Because she is always there for me from the ups and downs. And she just inspires me to just don't take things for granted. And she's just the most grateful person ever, you know. She's my mom. And I know you guys out there love your mom to death and for me my mom is like my best friend and you know she's there for me no matter what and she's pretty much inspired me to be you know inspired me to not let things get to me so bad so it would have you know my mom inspires me um number three what is something you don't like about yourself how can you make it a positive thing? Oh, wow. One thing I don't like about myself would be my body. I know you're probably like, what? But I'm very, 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 very self-conscious about my body, even though I shouldn't be, but I am. You know, everywhere I look, there's skinny girls, and I wish, oh, I wish my body was like that. And... Um, it's, it's something that I dealt with ever since I was a teenager and it sucks and for me I would change it but now I'm just like okay for me I would change my body but now I'm actually coming to terms to love my body you know if you want to change it for healthy reasons that's great um, right now I'm still kind of in the process of doing that because I'm still eating junk food, which is 
bad, but I can't help it. You know, it's it's something I crave. But at the same time, you know, I do want to eat healthier. But it can be so hard to. And I know I'm not the only one that struggles with it. Because it's hard to eat healthy. It really is. But at the same time, it's like, come on, you know, eat healthy, you know. You want to feel better. And But I can't. I have my guilty pleasures in eating junk food. But, yeah, if, if, if that was the case um that would that would be the one thing i've been thinking like that would be the old me saying yeah i don't like my body and i wish i can change it but now it's like you know what love you for you if you want to change it that would be good change it for the right reasons like healthy wise because i admit i have gone through like a eating disorder not very like a bad eating disorder like um purging I, well, I guess you can say that, but I didn't purge, like I, you know, badly, but there's times where I wouldn't eat a lot. Like, I would literally skip a meal, like skip dinner and whatnot, and I did suffer from that, you know, yeah. Um, I guess you can say I did have a, a, an eating disorder now that I, now that I'm picturing it, because I did try to eat less, and I try to skip meals and there's times where I try to make myself puke and it was it was bad but now it, I'm good you know I've come to terms to accept your body the way it is um like I said if you want to feel better or feel great you know feel like fit you know that's great you know exercise for the right reasons not for the bad reasons <laughs> But, you know, exercise to get healthy or eat healthy. And, you know, for me, it's going to be one step at a time. Because I do want to eat healthy, but it's hard. <laughs> wow, that was a long question for that. <laughs> but, yeah, just be comfortable in yourself. Number four, what is your best quality? Hmm. I would have to... Wow, um, what is my best quality? I guess my dimples. You guys see them? <laughs> I don't know why I think that's like my best quality because people comment on my dimples like, oh, you have the cutest little dimples. And yeah, <laughs> I guess that's my best quality. Or my eyes. People say my eyes are my best. Sorry about that. I got interrupted by my dad, but. Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, my best quality, also my best quality are my eyes. People say, I have pretty eyes. I have brown eyes. I don't know if you guys can see it in the light. But I have brown eyes. People say that's like my best physical quality. Or my dimples. But I would have to say my dimples. Um, number five. What is something other people pick on you for? Or, yeah, on you for or don't like about you? How do you respond? Wow, um, when I was in high school, I was picked on a lot. I was pretty much picked on my looks and stuff, but, you know, before I was just like, whatever, you're just jealous, that's what I always say, you're just jealous, and... Yeah, that's what I have to say is I was jealous. You're thinking, why would they pick on you? Like, what in the world? They could pick on me for, like, the most stupidest reasons. Like, oh, your hair looks stupid or your clothes look ridiculous. And and I respond like, you know, I usually don't respond. I don't. But at the same time, it's like, whatever, you know. Go on, hate me. And, you know, I tell my friends, you know, why are they doing this? You know, why are they picking on me? And my friends are like, well, they're just jealous of you, which they were. So it's like, if you're going to make fun of me, there's only one reason why you're doing it. Or you're hating on me, there's only one reason you're doing it, because you're jealous. So before, I just didn't respond. And then after a while, I'm like, you know what? You're just jealous. So, yeah. But it's not, it's not great to pick on people. It's not. I used to do it. I admit it. I've done it before. And if I can go back and, you know, apologize to the people I pick on, I would. And I 
I don't like to be that mean girl. I don't because I know what it felt like to be, you know, picked on by a mean girl. So, so I'm glad I'm not that person anymore. Unless I have to be like, the only reason I'll be mean to you is one, you talk bad about my family. Or if it's something beyond belief that you're saying something to me, then yeah, then then there will be a bad side to me. But other than that, I'm a sweet person. Six, what do, what do others say is your best qualities? <laughs> Going back to question number... Which one is it? Number four. <laughs> um... People say my best quality would have um, would have to be my um, my oh god that's a tough one. It would have to be my eyes. People compliment my eyes a lot, which is great. <laughs> I don't know why. You know, a lot of people have brown eyes, but I don't know. I guess I have <laughs> pretty eyes, but <laughs> I don't know. So people say I have the prettiest eyes, but I don't know how, because I have brown eyes, you guys. I don't have like blue eyes or green eyes or anything, so I don't know. But people think my eyes are my best quality. Do you guys think so? I don't know. <laughs> uh, number seven, is there anything you do to keep your confidence up? Yes. Um, how I keep my confidence up is just by just by listening to, you know, inspiring music. That's what keep my confidence up or having the support of my friends. And that's what keeps my confidence up is listening to music that's pretty much in good mood, like, you know, happy song or something. Or um, also just by having the comfort of your friends being there for you. And that's what really, 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 really keeps my confidence up. And not just that, you know, I love to give advice to other girls. That is my utmost confidence, is literally giving girls advice to be, you know, themselves and not to just give up because a person's being mean to you or you're dealing with something that is bad, like a family drama or boyfriend drama. You know, there's... You know, don't let that get to you because it's not worth getting all upset and just hating everybody or the world because it's not worth it. I've been through it before and it's just not a healthy thing. So that's just pretty much my confidence is music, friends, and giving advice. That's what keeps my confidence. Um, 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 um. Number eight, what is your best advice on how to do with negativity? Um, the best advice that I get from friends or family is like, just let it go. It's not worth it. You know, that person's not worth it or that whole situation. It's not worth it because what are, what are you going to get out of it in the end? Nothing. So that's pretty much what people give me advice to. If someone's giving you attitude, ignore it. Don't conflict into it because like like I said, it doesn't get you anywhere. It literally doesn't. But you know, you just have to just let it go, you know, don't give into it and just just let it go. That's what the advice people give me is just let it go. It's not worth it. Number nine, what is the best compliment you ever received? My, the best compliment I ever received was you look beautiful today by a stranger. <laughs> Seriously. Um... You know, if I don't know someone and if they compliment your hair or they compliment your outfit, that's pretty much 
feels good to me. You know, like, having that um, compliment is great. Like, the best compliment I ever had with someone is, you look pretty good today. You know, you look great. You know? Or, I love your hair. You look really pretty. Like, that is the best compliment I ever got by a stranger <laughs> that I don't even know or, you know, strangers that I don't know giving me compliments, you know, it's, it feels good. Sorry, all my camera died and yeah, so the last question said, say something inspirational. I'm going to say the same thing I said to the previous question and that's be yourself instead of being something you're not. So exactly, just be yourself. Don't be like anybody else or yeah, anybody else or any other trend, just be you. So my quote is, be yourself instead of being something you're not. So, yay! Oh, oh yeah. If you guys are wondering, whoo, this quality is a lot, kind of a lot better. That's because I'm filming on my Canon. So sorry if you see some of my videos with good quality and bad quality. It's just, I don't know. But I still like the Sony. You know, it's a great camera to use when I'm, you know, showing you a product you know, but that's the best thing about the Sony camcorder. But anyways, so yeah, I hope you guys love this tag and thank you, girl, for making this tag because it is a great tag and if you guys haven't done it, do it. And yeah, so I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye y'all.